Hello you 10. It's a video on um, the second part of the equations inequalities topic test that we had a look at in Zoom yesterday. So I'm going to go through questions 21 to the end. Yes, here we go. Okay. Um, so inequality here and what you do basically to solve it is to treat the solving the same as if there was an equal sign there. So I might uh, just put this over here. So what I'm going to do first, because that's all a fraction, is just multiply everything times 3. So that will get rid of this fraction to leave the, the numerator. So times 3 first. And we get uh, M minus 6 as a result of that. Less than or equal to. And then negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then we remove the minus 6 by doing plus 6. And negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So that means uh, on here, to graph it, less than or equal to, well, we could do that there. I filled in the circle for less than or equal to. And then less than or equal to means the arrow goes left. But we need some numbers. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So from 0 to the left is what M can be. Uh, so there's answer question 21. 22. A fairly straightforward one. 4x plus 9 is 23, so I'm going to take away 9 first. And 13 minus, 23 minus 9 is uh, 14. And we divide by 4. 14 over 4. Which is uh, 7 over 2. Simplify to, which is three and a half. So either ones of these ones is fine. 22b. Uh, fraction again. So uh, we just multiply by six, both sides, to remove this fraction. So when we do that, we're left with the numerator equals times 6 is 12 and then we take away the 1 oh, I'll leave that answer there, okay, well I'll redo it anyway what do they want us to do? solve it, okay uh, well, it's going to be easy if I'd add 3m so, rem so remove this from here so I'm going to add 3m Okay, it looks like it's going to be an easier way. 20 equals 8m. I'll do it the other way in a minute just to move this back over here. But for now, 20 equals 8m, you divide by 8. 20 divided by 8 equals m. And that would simplify to divide by 4. 5 over 2 which is uh, the same as two and a half. If I do it the other way, I'm going to move the 5m over here. So we get 20 minus another 5, that's 8m, equals 0. And we just move the 20 over to here, minus 20, minus 8m equals minus 20. Divide by minus 8. And we end up here too. Negative 20 divided by negative 8. And just to check, where's our calculator? Negative 20 over 8. Negative 8. That should be a plus number, 5 over 2. Yep, same answer. Very good. Okay. Over here. 
This is a bit of a subbing in. Body mass index is that equation. M is the mass of a person and H is their height in meters. So we have to sub in what we know into here and leave what we don't know. Okay, we're going to find the BMI. So we should be given the mass is yes, 58 over the height squared. Okay. Let's move this other way. Fraction 58 over 1.61 squared. How many decimal places? One. Twenty-two point four. BMI is twenty-two point four for that person. Okay, next one. Person has has a BMI of, so they know the BMI. We don't know something. What have we got? Mass. We don't know the mass. Mass goes on. Oh no, height goes on the bottom. Height we're going to find. Okay, so where when our nose on the bottom here, we can just swap these around. H squared equals seventy over twenty two point three four, and when we've got this here to solve for H, we have to do the reverse of squaring, which is square root. Calculator. Fraction. 70. Square root of 70 over 22.34. And this will give us what the person's height is. 1.7, how many decimal places? Nearest 0.01, two decimal places. 1.77. Height is 1.77. Very good. 26, uh, yet another fraction. Okay. Um, multiply by 2 to remove the fraction. So times 2 leaves us with the top only. Multiply by 2, take the 6 away, and take the 6 away is 16, I think that's right, divide by 3, 16 over 3, which is 5 and a third, I think that's right, okay, next one, a little bit more complicated, um, multiply by the lowest common multiple of the bottom. Now, unfortunately, 6 is multiple of 2, so we can multiply everything by 6. Times 6, everything. That means this fraction disappears. 5a minus 1. This one we multiply by 6. This just means we're multiplying the top by 6. Uh, 6 times 2a is 12a. And 6 times 7 is 42 over 2. Uh, and then we can divide everything by 2, which is 6a plus 21. Yep. 5a minus 1. Okay. Yep. So just You can always pause and rewind and check these ones, but yep, multiply by the lowest common multiple. That gives us there, so I might just take that 6a over here, minus 6a. It means it's minus a. Minus 1 equals 21. Yep. 
minus 6a, 5a minus 6a, yep, that's right. Plus the 1, 22, and multiply by minus 1. In effect, reverse the signs, as long as you do it both sides. There you go. A little bit involved, that one, but just remember, first step, multiply by the lowest common multiple of both of these. Okay, rectangle, yeah, I'll leave that there, rectangle is three times as long as it's wide, so I always like to do a diagram, rectangle, it's not quite the scale, length, width, length, width, but what can also put is the fact that this side here is three times the width. That would be handy if we're working it out. Um, the questions. Always good just to have one variable. And the length there is also three times the width. So now we can do the whole perimeter in just terms of width. Find its length and width if. Okay, so perimeter is 56. Perimeter is all the way around. So we have a 3W another and a W and a 3W and a W all equals 56 we have 8 W's there equals 56 so one of them is 7 so the width is 7 and that means the length is 3 times that 21 and does that add up to 56? 21, 7 is 28, 21, 49, 7, 56. Very good. Okay. Area. Well, area equals, equals length times width, which in this case is 3w, length of 3w times a w equals 3w squared. Uh, area is 108. Equals 3w squared. Divide by 3. That's 2. 2. 3 into 10 goes... No, it does 3. 3 times and 1 left over. 3 into 18 goes 6. 36 is w squared. And the square root of 36 is 6, so okay. So this is obviously a different triangle to this one. This area in width is 6 this time, so the length is 3 times that is 18. Okay. Okay, we have solving. Two fractions, okay, so we need a common denominator. We're adding fractions, and looks like 15 is the one. So something over 15 plus something else over 15 equals 9. Now, 5, so times 3. 6w times 5 plus 5w over 15 equals 9 we've still got to get rid of the fraction so we're going to multiply by 15 I'll do this first I oh, know multiply by 15 6w plus 5w 9 times 15 One three five. That's eleven W. Twelve. Oh, okay. One thirty five over eleven. Or uh, 11, 11, 
Romans one twenty one twelve and three eleven, I think. Yep. Okay. It's twenty seven. Solve each of the following equations. Expanding brackets. Uh, okay, expand this one. We get 2d plus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3d minus 6 equals 7. All right, let's move all this over here. So I'm going to subtract the 8 and add the 6. That's minus 2. And, so, and these two combine to make 5d minus 8 plus 2. Yeah, that's minus 2. d equals 1. Okay. This one, uh, expand brackets 6 times 3r, 18r minus 42 equals 8r plus 8 times 3 is 24. Uh, oh, yep, that's right. We'll move the 8r over here. Minus 8r, that leaves 10r. Minus 42 equals 24. Added the 42, 10r equals... 6, 6, r equals 66, 66 over 10, which is 33 over 5, which is 6 and 3 fifths. Okay, 28. 3b squared plus 4 equals 79. We've got a take the 4 away 3b squared equals 75 divide by 3 b squared equals 25 which makes b 5 or plus or minus because 9 minus 5 times minus 5 is also 25 okay Okay, multiply by 27 to get rid of the fraction. 2m squared, 6 times 27. 162. 2m squared is 162. Divide by 2. That's 81. m looks like it's 9. Plus or minus. Okay, next. Lucia has $58 in a money box in $1 and $2 coins. If there are 37 coins, we'll just put that there. Coins is 37. Use an equation to find how many $2 she has. Right, okay. $1. Plus two dollars. There's okay. It's going to take me a minute to think about this one. There's thirty-seven coins. Using an equation to find how many two dollars she has. So no, I don't know. I'm going to come back to that one. Question twenty-nine. That's going to take something. $58. I might think it through while we're doing this. $58 in 37 coins. No, my mind's gone blank. Okay, I'll come back. Solve each of the following equations. B squared plus 8B equals 0. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So these ones factorize first because there's two answers. Uh, so I'm going to take the B out, and that's B plus 8, 
equals 0. So that times that equals 0. So B can be 0. So if that's 0 and that's 0, then 0 times that is 0. And we make then we can make whatever's in here 0, which would be minus 8. Minus 8 plus 8 is 0, minus 8. So you're going to make either that one 0. So I'll do that there. I'll look, have a look. If B is 0, 0 times 8 is 0. And if we do it as minus 8, Well, minus 8 plus 8 is 0, negative 8 times 0 is 0, so it's that one. Yep. Okay. Quadratics. Okay. So, with these, we have to find the factors of this last bit. 15. And 15 has 15 times 1 and 3 times 5. But when we add the factors, so add them, they should add, should equal 8. It looks like it's that one. 3 plus 5 is 8. Yep, that one when you add them is the answer is 15, so it's not them. So you've got to have the first issue is factors, and then when you sum the factors, it's got to equal plus 8. And it's 3 and 5. So and then we can do this. So factorising it. Plus 3, plus 5. Then we're going to do this little hoop of making it equal 0. So what we can do is make what's inside this bracket equal 0. And that would be making x equal to negative 3 and then inside or inside this bracket x has got to equal negative 5 so there's x equals negative 3 or negative 5 now I'm going to take a little minute to show you how that works going to put negative 3 into here and negative 3 squared plus 8 times negative 3 plus 15 in a calculator bracket negative 3 bracket squared plus 8 times negative 3 plus 15. 0. Excellent. So negative 3 works. If we do it with negative 5. Negative 5 squared plus 8 times negative 5 should also equal 0. Very good. So both of them work. Okay. Another quadratic with the u squared this time. Okay, so factors of minus 28. But when we add them, we've got to get plus 3, so I'm going to keep that in mind. Um, you could do minus 7 and plus 4. That gets us close to there. What about the other way around? 7 times minus 4. 7, yep, that'll do. Factors of negative 28, 7 times negative 4 is negative 28, and when you add those, you get plus 3. So it's 7, negative 4. Okay, so we do this. x plus 7, bracket, x minus 4, equals 0. So again, what's inside the bracket here? To make uh, x equal negative 7 will work. So the answer, I'll put over here, negative 7 will make that 0. So there's one answer. 
4, we'll make that 0. Okay, very good. Two to go. Solve 22 minus 9a is greater than 30. Okay, so moving things around, take away the 22. We left with minus 9a is greater than 8. Take 22 away, divide by minus 9, and this is where we've got to remember when you divide or multiply by a minus, the sign reverses. 8 over minus 9, which is 1 over 8, not yet. 8 over minus 9. That's the answer to that one. Okay. Last question. Okay. 17, no, multiply by 4. Guess rid of the fraction. Less than times 4. What's that? 52. Okay. Take the 17 away. It's less than 52 minus 17. 10 is 42, 35. And again, we're going to divide by minus number. So minus dividing by minus 7. Change the sign because you're dividing by a minus number. And that becomes divide by minus 7. That's minus 5. And graph this one. M is greater than minus 5. Now greater than, oh, I can do minus 5 here. A greater than open circle minus five minus four minus three minus two minus one and the arrow greater than so everything to the right of minus five and the circle not filled in because m doesn't actually equal minus five it's got to be greater than there we go so that's the end of this video i'm going to do a separate one for that other question that i had to think about so thank you very much, everyone.